Welcome to this month's Vanners collaboration and this month's Vanners collaboration is all about our favourite meals and our motorhome. Now the long term viewers of our channel will probably realise we're not the great cooks. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to cook a meal and I've got all my ingredients laid out here. And this video is not sponsored by Marks and Spencers but it could easily be sponsored by Marks and Spencers. Uh, so I've got my Epicure Petit Pois baby carrots my corn mince from Marks and Spencers. Uh, I don't think this was from Marks and Spencers. Onion granules, uh, M&S British mushrooms, and Coleman's cottage pie mix. So I think you can see what this is going to be. Okay. So it now follows eight minutes of peeling potatoes. Don't forget to watch the other videos at the end of this video. There'll be a card at the end of the video and you can catch up on someone doing some real cooking. Mm. Jenny said use the microwave pan to do, <laughs> to do the potatoes. Oh, and I normally bung it in there for about six minutes. Now what you do is you put this in the microwave for six minutes. A little bit of water in there. So just whack the... Whack it on. I think it's the Fine second one down. Just keep pressing it till it comes up with six minutes. So I suggest you perhaps have about four mushrooms. Four. Now someone said don't wash mushrooms. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to wipe them. I don't... Oh, it's a bit hot there. Don't fancy not washing the mushrooms. Stalks or not? I'd take the stalks out. I normally do. Little bit. Right, mushrooms, I think that's good enough. I'm going to put the mince in there. Yeah, no, I've been using half for just the yeah. two of us, but okay. um, I'll use three quarters. You then. can use three quarters. There's corn mince, gluten free, high in protein, low in saturated fats, and used by the 12th of the 12th. I can use that for a curry or something, can't I? Chili, I normally bung Chili? it in. Okay. Right. Okay. So do you want to whack some of that in? I don't know how much of... Onion granules. That's no great. idea how, to, how much to use of this. That, well, not that much, God. Oh, it's alright. It's a teaspoon, isn't it? Oof. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Who's the cook here? You. <laughs> you smell it. They just get an overpowering onion flavour now. Bless it, lovely. Brown the mince and onion in a pan. Mix the seasoning with water and add to the dish. So how much water do we need? Well, I last time did a mug. Mug, okay. There we are. Very elegant. Wonderful. So you sort of cook that for a bit, don't you? Because it's yeah. supposed to thicken. You, you want yeah. it. So it's moist, but you don't want it all watery, otherwise what, all that happens is your potato yeah. just goes... It sinks to the bottom. Yeah. It might be a bit too much here, but... Yeah, we'll thicken up. Yeah, okay. While that's doing, you need yeah. to mash your potatoes. Mash your potatoes, okay. Which isn't easy in that little pan. No, no. We'll do it anyway. Well, God, that's heavy. And hot. Hi, Jack. It's working out better than it did for me last week. Done too much, too much potato. Yeah, well you were wondering whether it was enough, weren't you? Yeah. You'd need to give your thing a stir. God, well, I expect me to do two things at once. Oh, it has thickened up, hasn't it? That yeah, nice. it will do. That looks quite nice, actually. That's about right. Yeah. Right, so we're going to whack some carrots in there, aren't we? Yeah. And then have the rest as... What do you, you call it? Sides, isn't it? Yeah. I don't need all this water in there, don't I? No. It's quite nice, these carrots, the, the baby yeah. ones. That's probably about enough. And we've got the rest. Yeah, that's That's looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, even if you say it yourself. Yeah, it's colourful, if nothing else. Yeah. There we go. And those baby carrots will cook fairly quickly anyway, because they're. Yeah, they're only tiny things. Okay, let's right. have a bit having a bit of a mare with the uh, the mash here. We need a bigger pan, don't we? Yeah. Bigger microwave pan. Look at that. You just 
just uh, come back a bit. The problem I have with cooking in the motor <laughs> is this. The mess, isn't it? Yeah, the beauty of this meal is that once yeah. you've prepared it and put it in the oven, yeah. you then have the opportunity to clean everything up yeah. while it's cooking. Yeah. And you can tell whether you, your base is good because if it's too wet, that would just go blip. And do the traditional finish to it. Yeah. All we've got is cheddar well, we're slices. Not eating, we're not eating so much. What I do with them is just break them up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> we only need about one. I don't need too many. Oh, you need two. I've got the dogs at my feet. I've got both now. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Right. <laughs> right, so now that's ready to go and that's well, ready to tidy up. Yeah, but no, no, you've got to put it in the oven oh, first. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you need your oven shelf. So put that on the middle. Oh, God. <laughs> so you can let go of the handle. Then. All right, OK. Put it straight in there. Right, so... so I've bunged in the oven, just got to tidy this mess up now. Yeah, and 10 minutes of turning it round. Yeah, turn it round after 10 minutes. What a mess. So tidy it up. I'm just waiting for that. So 10 minutes in the oven, turn round another 10 minutes and whack on a plate, whack in your gob. Do it for another 10 minutes as well so it will be 30 minutes by the time we've finished. Just brown it under the grill for a bit. Kept quite well together, that. Yeah. Mm, mushrooms look good. I think the cheese holds it together. Yeah. They're silly little peas, aren't they? Petit pois. Not silly little peas, they're petit pois. <laughs> nice glass of Feather Plucker's Daughter, it's called Naked Wines. Feather Plucker's Daughter, very highly recommended. So thanks for watching. If I've enjoyed the meal, please give us a thumbs up. <laughs> we'll catch what? up with you in the next one. Bye then. Bye. It does look nice, doesn't it? Mm.